Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's autograph video number 27. Now this week we are going to take a look at something I hinted at in last week's video and that is the very impressive gradient function tool in autograph and I think it's very good for straight lines and possibly even better for looking at curves. So we're going to hopefully cover both of those aspects this week. So let's crack on. I have got, I'm in standard mode, I've got rid of my key, I've not even touched my axes and we're going to crack on now by drawing the line y equals 2x minus 1. Now we can get the students to predict where that line's going to go and mark on coordinates like we've done in previous weeks, but to speed up things let's just get it plotted. I'm going to still go in my little turtle slow pop mode because I'm a big fan of that. Right, let's enter an equation. Let's go for it, y equals 2x minus 1, click OK, and slowly but surely, here we go, this line will start to plot. Incidentally, if you're ever sick of waiting for it to plot, if you just hit that fast forward plot and it'll go right to the end. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop two points on my line. Now notice I am in grid snap settings of 1, so if I try and put a point somewhere looking a bit dodgy that's not on an integer value, Autograph will force it to move to the next integer set of coordinates, which is fine. Um, pop one there, and I'll pop one there. Now it's going to be quite helpful if I know what those coordinates are, so with that point selected, I'll just go to text box, and I think I'll just call it A, and I'll make sure I've got my nice ice blue and I'll click OK and there's A, very nice do a similar thing down here, click on that text box let's go for something original like B um, ice blue, looking nice, OK now we can get the students to try and work out what the gradient is between those lines um, and that, sorry, between those two points and then we can use autograph to help us along the way so if I select that point and I'm in white ball mode, so no need for shift, and I select that point, so both those two points are selected and nothing else. If I right click, right down the bottom here, I have a thing called gradient. And there it is there, and it's your bog standard right angle triangle. But it's a little bit more than that, because what I can do is I can click on this right angle triangle, and I can go to text box up the top here, and it's got all this stuff for me. So again, I'll just go to ice blue and click OK, and let's take a look at this. Now, there it is, it's calculated the gradient for me, and then it introduces the students to the delta sign, so the change in y is positive 2, and the change in x is positive 1. And what's really nice about it is I can use this to emphasize that I could draw this right angle triangle wherever I want, because if I make it a bigger one down there, I've now got a change in y of 4 and a change in x of 2, but of course the gradient still remains at 2. And if I want a bit more accuracy, I can go to grid snap settings of a tenth, and now I can move this line where I want, and yet the gradient will always remain at 2. So I think that's quite a nice thing to do with straight lines, but as I hinted at, it is even better with curves. So let's crack ourselves open a new 2D graph page, let's get rid of the key at the bottom, and let's not mess around straight in with the line y, sorry, the curve y equals x, and a little 2x squared. Again, I'm in slow pop mode, I don't have the time, so I've speeded that up. Right, what I'm going to do here is very important that I am actually in um, snap settings of 0.1 because I need a bit more accuracy. I'm going to pop a point here um, at 1.1 one, one, and then I'll put another one just up here somewhere. Okay, similar kind of thing. I'm going to make sure both points are selected and I'm going to right click and again I'm going to get my gradient tool on the go. Um, now, I'm not going to actually highlight it with a text box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and I'm going to double click down the bottom here on the status bar because this is going to be much more useful as we'll see in a second. Now at the moment the gradient is 2.7 and first thing I can show of course is that wherever I, mo um, wherever I move these points the gradient's actually different and we can talk about the fact that this actual straight line is not a very good approximation for the gradient of a curve. However, if I start moving this a little bit closer, look what happens to the gradient. At the moment it's 2.5, now it's 2.4, now it's 2.3. I think I'm going to need to zoom in, so I'm clicking on zoom in box. I'm going to drag around here, and now let's keep moving. So let's move it a bit closer. Now it's 2.2, now it's 2. Point one. Let's go a bit closer, and you can see that this may just provide a nice little introduction to how to where the wonderful world of differentiation and calculus starts. I am pretty much out of time. Have a little play around with that yourself. Hope you found that useful, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.